Ah, it's been a while, hasn't it? You might be wondering, why is there Friday Night Funkin' footage on the stream? Well, that's because... What the hell? Who's that? Hi, Agony. Long time no see, huh? How did you get here? You left the door unlocked. It's pretty simple, but I'm taking back my channel. You destroyed it! I don't get it. I got him to 36 subs. I thought that's what you wanted. Yeah, I didn't want you to smash me to another dimension. You have been taking control of him. The person editing this video right now, the person who's voicing us right now. You know, I don't get why Chewie made this. Why are you burning my creator? I wish you could take his honor. Yeah, I do take his honor. But, I guess the person who's editing the recent ones does make them. So that's why he doesn't make them get one in a while. Well, because you kind of killed me, maybe, just maybe, and you kind of forced him to, you were the one who put all these glitches on his channel, and he finally got rid of him, but you stayed. Why? I got some money from him. Well, I just wouldn't stick on Yeah. Anyway, I like to kill him, so... Well, now I need to go back to how I was before. There. That's a lot better. Hi. Now, my channel has been corrupted by agony, but I've just beat him by exploding him with my laser pointer. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about today. Today, I wanted to talk about Friday Night Funkin, of all things. Yeah, Friday Night Funkin, it's dead. But the reason I'm making a video on it is not because it's a review or anything. Because what the fuck actually happened to it? I mean, think back in like 2020 and 2021, the only thing you did here was the words Friday night and Funkin. Thursday? It was in the dust now, it was, it was Friday. I mean, it was always Friday, but whatever. So, Friday night Funkin, it's the hit rhythm game that is really, really fun, surprisingly, still to this day. And. What the hell even happened to it? I mean, all that happened was the creators were scummy people and then they just abandoned the project after spending all the money and running away. So, yeah, to be honest, I think it's pretty smart to making a bag and stiffing, to be honest, but I wouldn't have revealed my face. You know what, looking back on my channel, uh, it kind of seems like I'm doing that now, but you know what I mean, they made two million fucking dollars off this shit before they would actually make the game. They used every single stress goal. Stress? Stretch goal. Fuck me. <laughs> but we're also going to be talking about the update that's coming new. It's gonna come soon, in like a couple of months, probably, which is really unexpected considering I thought they just dropped this project and made a bag. Such as what I just said, but anyway, let's get straight into this video. Now, Friday Night Funkin's Kickstarter got in a massive amount of money, $2 million, I think. And they had around 10 stress goals. Stretch goals. I literally just said stretch goals. I'm, I think I'm actu actually going insane. Now, I'm going to read all of the stretch goals to you, and I'll also pop them up on screen so you can read them for yourself. Now, at $85,000, they will do a mo mobile build of the game. At $1,855,000, they're going to do a custom character creator. $215,000, they're going to do sharing network. $415,000, they're going to do fully animated cutscenes, which, that is not fucking happening. Definitely, there's no way fully animated cutscenes for each week, bro. That's, that's just fucking insane. I don't think they're going to do that. Anyway, uh, for... 615,000, five additional weeks, fucking hell. For 665,000, they're gonna do online multiplayer. For 86, for 865,000 dollars, they're gonna do another five additional weeks. For 96, wait, not, 
965 dollars they're gonna have an extra 10 playable characters 1 million 100,000 600 uh, yeah 650,000 for five additional weeks um 1 million 400,000 uh in 65 dollars and an erect difficulty which is just like incredibly fucking hard so like the tutorial is going to be incredibly fast and shit like that you know you get the gist and then, finally, after like two minutes of me talking about this shit, one million eight hundred. Oh wait, one million eight hundred thousand six hundred uh, sixty-five thousand dollars. Ten week clock, which is fucking insane. And there is no way in hell that they were gonna do this in the time that people thought they would. And as we look back on it now, people were kind of assholes to the people making Friday Night Funkin'. Like, then there's no way you've just given them two million dollars and expect them to just pump this out in a fucking week, bro. Like, come on, they're only human. They are not, like, superhuman beings, bro. You can't just fucking expect all of this in a couple of months. I think they were only expecting, what, up to the fully animated cutscenes? Maybe online multiplayer, but I think that's a stretch. Not fucking fuck, like, that's a ton. Like, one million, and also, if we had one, like, one like, I think a million more? No, one million more. Like, 700,000 more, we would have a PS1 port. A PS1. Like, an actual PS1 port. You can't play it on any other console. It is exclusively for the PS1. That is fucking funny as hell, and I really wish that they did, because I would be laughing my tits off if they did a PS1 port. Like, imagine they, you're, you're, like, at your friend's house, and they go, you wanna play some Friday Night Funkin'? Yeah, sure. Pulls out a fucking PS1. That's gonna be hilarious. And I think that they should reactivate the Kickstarter just so they can get the PS1 port, bro. It's fucking hilarious how we nearly got a PS1 port in 2020, I think, this Kickstarter was, which is just insanely funny, in my opinion. I think I'm going on this for too long, but fuck me, man. I'm... That's just hilarious. But, yeah. Let's start talking about the, well, I guess, new week before we get into the controversy. And let's do that right now. Hi. Now, I've played the game, I've played, like, Friday Night Funkin' so many times at this point, and when I finally discovered that Phantom Arcade and Ninja Muffin 99 were working on the game again, I celebrated so fucking hard that my neighbors knocked on my door asking if I was okay. So, yeah, I played this new update. I thought it was a bit hard for me, considering I'm a bit rusty at Friday Night Funkin', I'm not the best because obviously I've had a couple months only to practice again and it took me a couple, like, five months to get good at Friday Night Funkin'. So, yeah, I'm not as good as I used to be, but I will start playing this game, like, every day to see if I can get better and better. But anyway, I cannot wait until this new update drops because it is so fun. And I am glad they're keeping by their word by saying that they're gonna have more original characters than Newgrounds characters, because, you know, it is nice that Newgrounds is collabor collaborating with them. And the people who are making Friday Night Funkin said that they're just gonna wear, they're just gonna have the Newgrounds thing as like a badge of honor. So it's not like gonna be every week is a friend, is um, Newgrounds, right? It's going to be different every week, like, and they did say there's going to be more original FNF characters than there are um, Newgrounds characters. Now, originally I thought Pico was a Friday Night Funkin' original because I was not born in the 2000s. I was born in the 2010s. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> um, I thought Pico was original. He's not ever since I started on my new grounds. Like, I don't know. I just started playing everything to do with new grounds, which was pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Uh, I loved it. I actually really liked a lot of the games on Newgrounds. But anyway, back to Friday Night Funkin', considering nobody gives a fat fuck about Newgrounds anymore. It is about Friday Night Fucking Funkin', and Friday Night Funkin' literally made uh, Newgrounds popular again, so whatever. But they did say they're just gonna have Newgrounds as like a badge of honor. It's not going to be the main focus of it, because they do want to tell a compelling story. Well, not compelling, but you know, they do want to tell a story that's semi original, right? And I really do wish that they made like five million dollars so we could get Pico Pico School in Friday Night Funkin'. But then again, I know that's like really hard to do, especially with the engine, it's kind of shit. So yeah, and they were going to make a sequel to Pico School as well. I hope they still do that. Cause that'd be fucking incredible. It'll be awesome as hell. But yeah. So what are my thoughts on this new update? It is certainly fucking hard, I'll tell you that. Yeah, in my books, this is a hard one. Like, I loved it, but I missed so many notes. Like, I thought Tricky's mod was hard, so yeah. I mean, I'm okay at Friday Night Funkin', I'm not the greatest person in the world for it. I like, I like having fun with it. Uh, I mean, the Sonic Dossie mod is a breeze. But like, really fast shit, I don't like it, because it hurts my fingers really quickly. But, I love this because it introduced us to two new characters. I forgot their names because I don't think it actually told us, but they are very unique and I cannot wait until this update gets put into the base game. Because that's going to be fucking awesome, this is a psych engine build of it, but anyway. On to the quote unquote controversy of Red Night Funkin'. Let's do it. Now, the controversy. The controversy of Friday Night Funkin' is pretty simple. It was just everybody was under the assumption that everybody involved with Friday Night Funkin' dipped. Now, this is not necessarily true. The company that was making the pins and pretty much everything to do with Friday Night Funkin' that was a physical thing that uh, Frank Arcade and everybody promised, well, they hadn't actually got any of their designs so they could actually make any and they would constantly tweet out they didn't have any of the Friday Night Funkin artwork. Now, I haven't actually paid for the Friday Night Funkin thing because I don't have a credit card yet. Well, I do, but at that time, I didn't have a credit card. So, I couldn't spend money. And I wasn't able to get some of the expensive donor um, emails where you were to get told what was getting going on with the game and the progress made. And, well, when I was trying to do this video, which was like a month ago, I don't think many emails were put out, and then suddenly a bunch just came through because they started working on the game suddenly all again. But everybody was under the assumption that Ninja Muffin 99 had just taken all the money and spent it on drugs, women, and alcohol, which I don't think is true. Don't quote, quote that as fact, because I'm not 100% sure it's true, and I'm not, uh, blah blah blah, so, you know, like, I'm not 100% sure, but that was, is what I was told, and if I did a bit more digging, that I could probably find more evidence to, you know, declaim that, and I could find evidence to prove it, also, I don't know, or really care, but let's just get to the controversy part, that how everybody was just, like, the creators had ditched the project because the Kickstarter was gone, there was no more updates. Like, if you download the game on Ichio, like, usually every couple months, or sometimes even weeks, they would have an update, and you'd have to download the new version of the update. It was actually really fucking annoying for me, because I would want to play the game, and then it would force this fucking message down my throat, and I'd be like, I do not give a fuck, fuck, I want to play the game! So, yeah, I just always ignored it. But, yeah, 
the last time, well, when I was originally going to do this video, which was actually ages ago, I don't think a lot of emails were put in. Then, as I just said, a ton of emails came in. And the people who were making the vinyls, um, they didn't actually have the box art yet, so they can, you know, send it out to everybody. And everybody kind of just felt scammed. And at that time, a bunch of people were coming out saying it is a scam and gave their evidence. And that's originally what I was going to do. I was going to rip into find that something of how it was a great game with amazing potential that got turned into dog shit. But then after some more research, it turned out, no, that isn't the case. Something completely fucking different happened. I need to make a video on this. And that's the video you're watching right now, which is 15 minutes and 45 seconds in. And I don't know how long left because I haven't finished editing the video yet. So, hell fucking yeah. This game, I thought it was dead in the water, but no, they are working on it again. And that's brilliant in my opinion. I loved this game back then. I love it now again. Time to fucking play the game. This is going to be great. But yeah, I am really excited to see what Ninja Muffin and Fat Arcade do with this series. Because fucking hell. It is, it's just insane, like, I don't really know what else to say besides fuck me, dude. I cannot wait until my fucking full release. And hopefully, I'm pretty sure the game is going to be, you have to pay for it, which is a bit sad, but then again, with this much content, who can really blame them? But they did get two fucking million dollars, so... Yeah, I mean, I do kind of wish the game was free, but I understand why it would be paid. And, yeah, so don't get your hopes up for it to be free and then go into the uh, people's DMs and be like, Okay, Father, why are you a dickhead? Um, I hate you. Fuck you. Why isn't there, um, why isn't it free? Like, dude, come on. Yeah, they got two million fucking dollars there, but everybody was harassing them. There is, like... I understand why they took a fucking break. Everybody was just harassing them ruthlessly for making a hit game and then stopped working on it for a couple months to have a fucking break. So, to be honest, yeah, the fan base was different. So, I understand why they took a, such a long break without any fucking updates. Because the fan base is, is just full of dicks, to be honest. Like, I'm pretty sure they got a bunch of death threats if they didn't, you know, complete the game in time. But, guys, I don't want to keep you for too long. You've already been here for, like, 18 minutes. So, see you in the next one. Make sure to watch, um, The Lemons. Newest video, which is fucking insane. I've already seen the whole thing. Jesus, I can't wait for it. all of you to see it. It's really funny. It's really detaining. The editing is incredible. And even a guest star. Me, I'm in it. I did my own research, and I put my own opinions in it. So, make sure you go watch that. See you next time, guys. Bye.